thinking of this beautiful world has such diverse size of living organisms ranging from the largest blue whale to an elephant human and tiny ants do you think does it ends never just beyond the limits of human sight is a non seen universe that only microscopes can explore more than trillions of organisms called microorganisms can you imagine how many are there majorly five types bacteria viruses fungi protozoa and algae here we go for some harmful and harmless actions of them which you had never gone thought they can do making drug such as antibiotics and vaccines antibiotic the word which means against life are produced by several group of microbes such as bacteria fungi and actinomyces drug that kills germs in our body is technically an antibiotic there are some examples penicillin shortly pcn or pen pen do you think is a writing pen nah it's a group of antibiotic produced by penicillium rhizogenum we should greatly thank alexander fleming for it streptomycin produced by streptomyces griseus cephalosporin produced by cephalosporin acrimonium neomycin produced by streptomyces fredii this is a fake cure this one drug is used to treat bacterial infection vaccines i know you might be familiar with these words do you know who found them edward jenner vaccines are made from microbes that are dead or inactive so that they are unable to cause disease vaccine is a biological preparation that provides active acquired immunity to a particular infectious disease for example hepatitis b tetanus diphtheria pertussis poliomyelitis vaccine stimulates the body to produce antibodies against the antigen in the vaccine pests you see pests in your own garden you see farmers struggling with the pests in their farmland yes here goes a very special solution with no harm Microbial pesticides are product based on living microorganism which are pathogenic to target pest. It consists of microorganism as the active ingredients that control pests by biological non-toxic means. Example: Bacillus thuringiensis, Trichoderma bivaria. It is a conventional insecticidal spray, non-toxic, non-pathogenic to humans and animals. creating different alcohols and enzymes alcohol alcohol what people call an alcoholic he is three sheets to the wind he is drunk as a skunk have you ever thought how this poisonous drink is made alcoholic fermentation is a biotechnological process accomplished by yeast some kind of bacteria or a few other microorganisms to convert sugars into ethyl alcohol and carbon dioxide from grapes for wine barley for beer Saccharomyces cerevisiae. Oh, how hard is to pronounce me? But I'm beneficial, okay? Is the main species used for alcohol fermentation. Made a bacterial strain producing ethanol in globe, Clostridium acetobutylicum, Klebsiella, pneumonia, Sarsina centriculi. How do you think all these commercial processes are done? Many enzymes from microbial sources are already being used in various commercial processes. Most of them commercially applicable. Proteases are synthesized mainly by bacteria such as Pseudomonas, Bacillus, and Clostridium, and some fungi. Transferring normal genes to humans. Gene therapy is an experimental technique that uses genes to treat or prevent disease. In future, this technique may allow doctors to treat a disorder by inserting a gene into a patient's cell instead of using drugs or surgery. Here also, we can see the role of microbes, which will carry the healthy genes and replace the unhealthy genes. So here, the microbes act as carrier. Example: mainly bacterial strains, Listeria, Shigella, Salmonella. Do you know bread, cheese, wines are unbreakably bound to microorganisms because they are formed by microbes' action. Now you might be thinking, all these were related to microorganisms? Yes, unfortunately, I have to say this: they are related with the microorganisms with whom only microscopic eyes can explore. Bacteria, yeast, mold are major creatures involved. Yeast break on carbohydrates to get energy, and they need a molecule. Now let's move a bit deep into it. They have two pathways: anaerobic fermentation, aerobic fermentation. Have you ever noticed why some bread is fluffy, spongy bread? Yes, it's because of the carbon dioxide produced as a byproduct after fermentation. 
they get trapped by gluten to form spongy bread. Coming to cheese, lactic acid bacteria came into action. They eat lactose and milk to produce lactic acid along with other chemicals. Then they spoil and clump starts to form. Added enzyme breaking enhance the process. Finally, clumps press to remove water and thus cheese form. Most two plain days. Production of the biogas methane. Yes, let's now see to it. How is it produced and what's happening in it shortly? Biogas obviously is produced in the biogas plant. Biogas containing energy rich methane is produced by microbial decomposition of organic material under anaerobic conditions. Under control conditions, this process can be used for the production of energy and a nutrient rich residue. They are suitable for the use of fertilizing agents. Now let's see the working hands behind this. They are acetic acid forming bacteria, acetogens and methane forming archaea, methanogens are mainly involved in biogas formation. Methanobacterium is one such among this. And now when it comes to diseases, there comes viral, fungal and bacterial. Viral, a disease with which the whole world is being struggling now called COVID is an example of viral diseases. Nipa is another important viral diseases. Dandruff that you see on your head is a fungal disease. Ringworm, another important example of fungal disease. Tuberculosis and cholera is an example of bacterial disease. Food is any substance consumed to provide nutritional support for an organism. Our next topic is spoilage of food. Food spoilage is caused by the growth of organism which produce enzymes that lead to objectionable byproducts in the food. Bacteria and various fungi are the cause of spoilage and can create serious consequences for the consumers. When the bacteria break down the food, acids and other waste products are generated in the process. Reality gives nothing back. One sometimes finds what one is not looking for, as Alexander Fleming said. Louis Pasteur said, in the field of observation, chance favors only the prepared mind. Happiness and bacteria have one thing in common. They multiply by dividing.